Welcome. Take a walk. Stop and stand still. Mark your place. Rotate slowly 360 degrees and see the world of your room. Decide which way to face. Your face soft, taking in light and shapes. How is your skeleton stacked? Where are your feet? Imagine you are standing on a ledge, perched there, looking out on time and space. The precipice of hanging in there. We'll call this ledge knowledge. Life is a cliffhanger. What's next? Look over the ledge and fall into the next step. Or jump from ledge to ledge in superhero fashion. Look back at where you've been, the landmarks. Acknowledge prior knowledge and leaps of faith. Walk the perimeter of your room. Notice the corners, the lines where edges meet. Stand in one corner and trace with your eyes the lines of your room. Allow the neck to facilitate the movement of your eyes. Trace the surfaces of your room with your arms. Feel your skin as a living, permeable, dynamic interface connecting you to the space around you. Learn something new through the skin. Where is the attention dimming or accentuating sensation? Walk to your window, and if you don't have one, imagine this frame. What is near and what is far? Focus as far away as you can see the details of the landscape of outdoors. Turn around and walk away from your window keeping the picture of the faraway place in the back of your mind. Touch the back of your skull. Use your hand to turn your head. Do this several times. Take in a detail that attracts you and get in really close. Examine it as if your eyes were a microscope. See the cells beneath the surface. Find an object in your room and hold it in your hands. Take a ceremonial walk with it or dance with it. Notice its texture, size, weight. Does it have movable parts? Is it significant or insignificant? Perhaps it's magnificent. Do you value your object? Does your object have a history? Is there a story behind it? Let's walk towards our screen and show a close-up of your object to the group. How does your object seem in relationship to other people's objects?
Take your object to a new place in your space. You may decide to keep it there or move it back. Come back to your screen and have a seat. Did you miss your screen? Did you miss us? Make eye contact with someone, at least imagine you're making eye contact, as if this person were sitting across from you in a cafe, or that you see them outside your window. Walk over to your bookshelf. What title attracts you? What spine? Pull a book that you're curious about off the shelf and find a sentence or image in the book. Repeat it in your head until you have the gist of it. Put the book down and move to the center of your space. Devise a movement for it. Make the movement very small and then let it course through you. Enlarge it, expanding way out there, out the window. Quicken the pace. Take up space. Wind it down. Come to stillness. A momentary monument, a monumental moment, plain, ordinary. Close your eyes and feel the contours under your skin, its atmosphere. What is moving? 